Hello everyone and welcome to a new series of Let's Play Bastion. I'm your host as always, Xander Darkfang. Let's play! Alright, we're gonna quickly play a story. I set up all the settings beforehand so it goes faster. And we're gonna start a new game on normal mode. Yes, I tried just a little bit before to know uh, how it works. This is an uh, independent game that was released uh, about a year ago, I think. Proper story is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Yeah, this is a great thing about this game. It has its own narration going on. I'm still gonna provide commentary. Ground forms up under his feet as it point the way. He don't stop to wonder why. It's just fun. Yeah. It finds so his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. <laughs> All right. Yeah, use the hammer. Evade and then what? He falls to his death. I'm just fooling. You, you told me to evade you. Uh, so yeah, independent game came out about about a year ago. It's available on Steam. He and sees what's left of the rippling wall. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. Yeah. The, this is the selling point of it, it's just, it narrates as you're doing stuff, so if I just stop, eventually he'll stop waiting, <laughs> but he says exactly what it is you're doing as you're doing it. Not sure how Better that survivor. works. No ma'am, it's a gas fella, forced out from underground. Yeah, he he's him good. dead. Fella got a piece of him though. Yeah. So we gather XP. Every, pretty much everything is destructible. But if you destroy pots, sometimes you find stuff. Kid just rages for a while. <laughs> yep, raging. Just destroying stuff. Yeah, you gotta destroy all the crates because there's little crystal things stuck in them. And I don't know. I think they just give you power to buy stuff eventually. I'm not sure what destroying those things does. Hmm. We're gonna. We're destroying them though. Alright, that's fine. I think they just keep you from falling over the edge of the map. Okay, so... this way? Sure, why not? Bunch of crystals. Destroy some more stuff. What is this? Alright, let's keep going. Oh! Yeah, I think the lantern. old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Oh, and this is our range Got weapon. Older still to spin up the chamber. I don't know. It. Do we have limited ammo? I hope not. Playing this with a controller, uh, you can play it with a mouse and keyboard as well, but it just feels better with a controller, for this game at least. I have a Logitech controller, I don't know what the name of it is. It's kind of a half-breed between an Xbox controller and a, and a PlayStation controller. In the sense that the analog sticks are um, where a PlayStation controller's analog sticks would be, but 
it's shaped a little bit more yeah. like an Xbox controller and it has uh, X, B, Kids Y, A. Kids walk quite a thirst a. by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. Yep. A there school we go. of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. So there's squirts. And they're dead. Uh, there we go. Didn't even see it coming. <laughs> Alright. Where do we go? It's next? a wonder the old saloon's still standing. Hmm. Used to have the nicest view. It's over here. Hmm. Nothing. Alright, let's go this way. There's little ponds and stuff. This game is visually just gorgeous, by the way. Crystal Barrett. Kid finds a memento from a girl he knew. Always used to fancy her. Oh. Had a girlfriend before the end of the world. We're assuming this is the end of the world. I don't know. Two left. Yeah, 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 I know. There we go. Refill. Alright, let's go check out that saloon. Do 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 do. Alright, we're healing. And they're writing stuff. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. The calamities. Okay, so the end of the world or the apocalypse or something. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. It's called the calamity. Boom! Shield. Left trigger to defend. The security takes him for a petty thief. Ah, there we go. Left trigger. Clang. Shield saves his hide. Yep. Windbags start turning up for last call. Whoa! Hold on now. It's time to button mash. Button mash. There we go. They're all done. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Whoa! And then windbags are playing for keeps. Heal. Yes, thank you. Okay. Almost died on this one. Kid sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. Oh, wait. We're not... Were we not supposed to jump out? He gets uh, a good look at things on his way down. Okay. <laughs> he lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Whoa, we just traded up bows. Nice. Nice. There we go. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. Oh, whoa! He should draw the string all the way back. Yep. There we go. I think it auto wins. Boom. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, which way? This way? Oh yeah, there's a little memento. The kid pockets a memento from a breaker. Once the fastest man in the land. Nice. Alright, we've got pots to break. And turrets to destroy. Boom, it's dead. 
Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they're aiming for the kid. Yeah, I noticed. Thank you. Ah. Oh, we can bounce them back. Well, that works too. There we go. Let's try to play intelligently, people. Kid better watch his step. <laughs> that, that's not how you do it. <laughs> that is not how you do that. <laughs> Alright. Picking up health tonic. We're picking up whirlwind. A few from a dusty old tome. He's Boom. A mighty fast learner. Wow. Well, that works. And we're picking up black tonics, and we're smashing things with the hammer. We're smashing other things. Platformers 2.0. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, let's hold on. Shoot you. There we go. He Barely got her. Right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. Alright, we've got a distillery and an arsenal. Fun. We'll check those out in a minute. Let's just smash to pieces everything that's in the way first. Mm -hmm. I think it's done. All right, let's check out the distillery. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid will feel like a new man. All right, we're not at level two yet, but we have access to squirt cider. Fermented squirt extract with a nose of stale bread and ocean water. Very nutritious. So this adds 10 to our max health. This is something we can equip. We can put in deer uh, dead rum, which adds plus 10% critical hit chance. Active only when at full health. So that's important. Pungent concoction that calms senses and steadies nerves, favored by the breakers and other fighting forces, and uh, we have the fetching fizz, absorbs stray fragments. Started as a barroom prank, but evolved to become popular with miners and scrap workers. Me metallic aftertaste. Hmm, so which one would be most useful? Well, we haven't died from combat yet. And this wouldn't be very useful to us since we keep getting hurt. So we're gonna go with the fetching fizz. Spirits provide passive bonus. Alright, so we don't need to do anything, they're just there and they're giving us a bonus. That's good to know. So now when we pass next to random stuff on the ground, it's imme immediately gonna sort of get attracted by us. We won't have to run around to pick it up. The arsenals where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Alright, so here we choose our weapons. So right now we have access to the Breaker's Bow, uh, which is a versatile ranged weapon. Attack power increases as the bowstring is drawn with these durable lightweight bows. Kill and in Breaker divisions recon ah, reconnoitered the farthest reaches of the land in the name of their city. We also have access to the Fan Repeater. The rapid fire ranged weapon cannot move while firing and reloads automatically. A munition chamber fashioned from an unlucky beast gives a distinct silhouette to the silent repeating rifles once favored by Ura hunters. So we have basically a choice for ranged weapons between the breaker's bow and the fang repeater. So a powerful bow or a machine gun. Mm, bow, machine gun, bow, machine gun. Or a machine crossbow, really. Uh, let's go with the bow. I like it. 
And finally, for melee, we have our hammer. Well-balanced melee weapons, stationary attacks with it are more powerful. Heavy-duty hammers such as this constructed Kalendia's famous rippling walls and protecting them from elements and foes alike. Alright, so what we have right now is good, and we have a power called Whirlwind. We also have access to Dancing Shot, a secret breaker technique that causes an arrow to bounce from target to target. Originally intended only for spectacle, but it proved to have practical uses. Requires one black tonic per, per use. Same with the Whirlwind, a furious spitting strike that can damage multiple foes. Originally developed by the City Mason's wrecking teams. And we have the Bolt Burst. Uh, that's a Fang Repeater skill, so if we had the Fang Repeater equipped, we could send a spiral of bolts that deals damage in every direction. Trappers would rely on this technique in the event they got surrounded. I think the Whirlwind works pretty well with that. So we'll keep our current setup. And just keep going. Ah, there we go. Do -do -do. Tonic. Whoop! What am I doing? Forgot what buttons to press for a little bit. There we go. That hurt. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. Oh yeah. That's right. For some reason the popcorn machines just create those things. Alright. Bust up everything. Yeah, I know I should heal. But see that? I picked up tonic anyways. Uh is this the way to go? Or do we go this way? That one was Maud, the tutor. Once taught the kid good manners. He never used them, though. <laughs> this guy's funny. I like him. Whoa! Get out of here. Alright, I guess this is a boat. An old Switch. sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. Whoa! Okay. Boom. There we go. There we go. Kicking ass and taking names. Kit takes a chunk of alloy. Smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Whoa! Bags. Kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. What? Where? Did I fall down? Alright, just die already. Die? Okay, so the blue stuff hurts. Stay away from the blue stuff. Rob's a scumbag of his last meal. Okay, just stop shooting the little the little dudes and shoot the big dude. Shoot the big dude! Puts him out of his misery. Oh, we reached level two. Good. All right, now let's just get rid of those things. Yay! I think 
we died once or twice on that one. Whew! Sorry if I wasn't talking, that was intense. Look at the floor! Just kept destroying the floor. Alright. We got to level 2, we beat everything. We've got all the little crystal things. Okay. Is the core to the wharf district. Oh, we do. He do steals it. the city's heart. Might as well. Oh, let's just run. This feels dangerous. Kid has a feeling he better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. Yeah, I figured. Whenever the screen shakes, that's see like that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Ah, just no, die. Kid just keeps running. Somersaulting like crazy. Yeah, that's what I... Like I said, when the screen starts to shake, that's when you know you're supposed to run. That's when they take the floor out from under you. Down he goes. Down <sighs> toward the bastion. Yeah. Alright, so... Somersaulting... Dangerous. Now the kid sees Got something it. stranger still. His mind races. What the? Did anybody else survive? Was I supposed to fall down? What sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. Well, there you are, sir. Hello to you. How come I've been able to we hear talk you? for a spell. Okay, so he has the information. City crest. Ask about the seal representing the city of Kai. How do you pronounce this? Kalandia? Kalandia? Kalandia. Maybe. Whatever. One of these only meant to be for uniform and identification. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. Okay, so we follow those to the cores. We, al we already have one core. We got the Wharf district, district core. Core, ask about the large bluish mineral found in the Wharf District. It feels warm to the touch and hums like a motor. What exactly does it All do? All I tell him is to set that core is on the monument there. Then watch. Okay. So we'll do that. Crystal Barrette. Oh yeah, that little memento from Girlfriend. Ask about what happened to Nacy, the girl who used to pin her hair back with this. Is she here already? Where is everyone? I try to let the kid down gently. This is the Bastion, all right. Except no one else showed up. They're all dead. <gasps> no! All right. So core goes there. My hammer goes to those crates. Oh, I don't have. Apparently, I can't use my hammer here. So, all right, monument. And just like that, the Bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. So we're creating the Bastion with those cores. Interesting. What is this? There's a little crest on the ground. Foundation. A little amount of dirt. There's a little there's a little bit of dirt there. Kid ponders what to build. Oh, Okay, so distillery or arsenal? We haven't picked up any new weapons, so the arsenal might not be the most useful thing right now. Uh, but we are at level two, so we have an, we have ah we have access to a new elixir or potion or whatever, so we get a new passive power. So let's build the, dis the distillery. Boom. New spirits in stock, yeah, I know. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. Oh, and we have access to a hearty punch, which is plus one chance to carry on if defeated, and damage surrounding foes if defeated. Alright, so if we get killed, then it's a kamikaze. Aromatic beverage served piping hot. According to folk tales, it can almost wake the dead. Where, whiskey? Plus 100% critical hit chance. Nice. Active only when below 33% health. Alright, so this is the desperation drink. 
Scentless yet very brisk beverage of boiled rattletail whisker, used to revive patients in triage centers. Okay, that could be fun. And finally, the Cinderbrick Stout, plus 33% speed while defending. Spicy, nutty flavors, and a dry aftertaste, very, very heavy and filling. Is defending just putting the shield up? I'm not using that one a lot so far. I probably should. But the wear whiskey might be the most useful one so far because we keep getting our asses kicked. Because I'm too stupid to defend. Alright, wear whiskey. Wear whiskey has no scent, but tastes like a peppered boot heel. It's not for everyone. It's man's drink. That's what it is. It's not for pansies. All right. You don't know what's out there waiting for him. I don't. Skyway. It says right there. Skyway's waiting out there for me. Shut up, old man. You don't know anything, fool. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind to distant lands. Ride the wind, he says. Cool. Alright, so this is the Bastion. Home base. To harness the Bastion's power, seek out cores across the city and beyond. Alright. Info? The Bastion. Ceylandia's safe haven. Once the highest point in the city. Too bad it wasn't finished before the calamity struck. Ceyland Ceylandia. That's how he pronounced it. Ceylandia. Alright. Wharf District. Area cleared. These once busy these once busy shipping lanes are now completely gone. Alright. So we've cleared that one. We have our home base. We have the workman ward, which is core detected. Find it and bring it back. There may be useful supplies here as well. The workman ward. Them windbags used to keep the city humming along here. Hmm. And breaker barracks. Proving ground. Here the breakers once honed their skill and focus with their bows. The breaker barracks. Many straight shooters learn their way here. Alright, so I'm guessing this is to improve bow hunting skills, which maybe I should do. Let's try it. For a power the shot. Breakers used to come here for target practice. Used to play a little game. See who could bust the most targets in the fewest shots. Oh, I can do that. Alright. Pick up the bow. He's focused. He's armed. And he's off. Alright, let's figure this out. In the fewest shots, I can take out four of them if I just shoot from behind here. I think. Yeah, that sucked. Mm. Shots fired two. Wow. Perfect shot just happens in a flash. Boom. Nice. Nice. Alright. Well, that's good. Now let's take out these three. Mm. Gotta have proper alignment. And we do not, apparently. There we go. Hey, I released it. Oh, there's one left here. Uh, damn. Did not see him. It ain't done bad at all. Shots fired, 11. Third prize. Alright, let's claim the third prize. Next prize, 10 shots or fewer. Oh, we can do that. But, coming up on the half hour mark. So, we'll call it a day. Uh, if these prove to be too... Uh, wait, is that a crate? Can I smash it? No. Alright. So if get, getting these prizes uh, proves to take too much time or too many tries, I might not record it, or maybe I'll record it and then if it takes too long, um, 
out, edit it out, and I'll just tell you I got oh this stuff and this stuff. Uh, and next time we'll hit that new area. Fragments of the old world, usable of the bastion. Ah, he so returns that's what they are. With some of the materials we need. Some of the materials. Sure, why not? Uh, where do I put them? Hey, stranger. All right. Show's over. See you next time. We'll move on with Bastion. All right, guys. See you.